have a package today that I'm really, really excited to get into. It is a bunch of orders from Mercari Japan that I got through Neokyo, which is a Japanese proxy service. And it might be hard to tell on the screen, but this is a really small box. It's like as big as my hand and two hands wide. But there are 40 orders in here that were consolidated into this little box. So I'm really excited to get into this. I used up the full 45 days of storage so that the last of the items could trickle in and be included in this package when I was ready to consolidate it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it open. So it was packaged pretty well, looks like. Some cushioning and bubble wrap. And it looks like it was taped down so that it wouldn't shift around in transit. So I'm gonna just pull everything out and get everything unwrapped. I'm gonna pull a few things out that are things that I wanna leave for my husband to open that are his, as well as a few things that are gifts that I'm not gonna include in the haul video. And then I'll go through everything. Okay, so a bit of a hard cut because that just took me forever to get every single piece unwrapped. Everything was like triple wrapped in bubble wrap and plastic and then like taped super tightly. So got everything unpacked. So a few of the things in this order were for my husband, this trading card and some doujinshi and fan books. So I'm leaving these for him to open up. And then here are all my goodies. So I'll start with all of the merch that I got and then I'll go through the manga and fan books and art books that I got. So first I got some more One Piece trading cards. I didn't open these ones because not all of them were in top loaders and I didn't want to like just have them out with all of the packaging and stuff. So after the video, I'm gonna pull them all out and make sure they're okay. I was kind of worried when I pulled them out of the bubble wrap because I did notice that they weren't in top loaders, which is the way that the individual sellers sent them. It's not like the fault of Neokyo. But then like right on the edge of the stack of books inside the bubble wrap, these were just kind of like lined on the edge of the package. And I'm so relieved that they all seem to be okay, but I was kind of annoyed because if one had just like slipped out a little bit, and then been like hit against the box, it would have been ruined. Like this is a single card. This would have like folded in half. So I'm just so relieved that they made it safely. And to be honest, just a little frustrated with the individual sellers that they would just send a single card and not put it in a top load or anything to protect it. But I got three cards from the most recent starter deck. So, ST12. And so this is the new leader card for that deck of Sanji and Zoro. And then the two Sanji cards that were in that deck. And most of the packs that I got, or most of the cards that I got, came in like sets of four. So this one was a single card, but then this is like. I'm trying to show and I can't show. Um, these are both sets of, I think, four cards each. So I have some duplicates of these ones. And then same with these. Let me go like this. You can kind of see it's a bit thicker. So I guess that protected the cards a little bit in transit, that they were in a little stack. And they were all pretty cheap. So I felt like it was worth my money to be able to get like little packs of them. Considering for each order that I made, I did have to pay a 250 yen transaction fee. So I was able to get 
couple little sets of them. So excited to be adding these to my card collection. Oh, I think I might have forgotten to show the actual cards. Okay, so this is the new leader card, Sanji and Zoro. And then from the starter deck, there were two Sanji cards, this one and this one. This is an event card, not a character card, but it's of him. And then this is just a promo card that I realized that I had missed, so I got this one as well. And then another event card from an older booster set. It has Sanji here, so. I'm not a completionist with One Piece trading cards. I'm only collecting the ones that are related to Sanji, so he's a little tiny, little tiny guy right here, so I just wanted to have this one as well. And then this is a card that I did already have, but it was the regular one with the white border. But then this red one was a promo release, so I did want to get it as well because it's a different variant. And then in addition to the One Piece cards, I got two more kind of trading cards, but I'm not planning to like start looking for high Q trading cards. I just really wanted these two of Omi and Atsumu. They're little player cards as well as on the back player profiles. So like I said, I don't intend to start searching for high Q cards, but I just wanted these two because I really like these two characters. And there's like a foil on both of them. I think that Omi's might be holographic or it might just be the foil, but I'm happy I was able to find both of these kind of by chance while I was looking at the One Piece trading cards, but these will just be a little novelty that I'll be able to keep on my Haikyuu shelf. Also, I have all of the six bookmarks for Wotakoi, the, the clear character bookmarks, but I recently lost my Ko one and I looked everywhere for it. I literally flipped through every single volume in my collection and I couldn't find it. So I got this bookmark of her to replace her missing one. And now I'm gonna be extra careful and vigilant about where I'm keeping my bookmarks and to not leave them in the books because I have no idea how I lost it, but I'm glad I was able to find one of her bookmarks for sale. And then this is another thing that's for my husband, but I wanted to open it because it was cute, but it's a little key case. And when we were in Japan, I actually got one from Jujutsu Kaisen with Toji on it. And since we've been back, I've been using it and it's been so convenient and I've really liked it. And so my husband was jealous and wanted one too. And so he chose this one. I really like these little cases. They keep it really smooth, like all of the keys inside here, so they're not like snagging onto things. But he chose this one from Attack on Titan with a little chibi Mikasa, and he's looking forward to using it. Before I get into all these acrylics, I also got this IQ jersey. So when we were in Japan, I really wanted to get some Omi goods when we went to the jump store and they had some MSBY apparel, but they didn't have any for Omi. They just had long sleeve tees for Atsumu and Hinata. And so I did actually get one of those long sleeve MSBY tees of Otsumu's. But then I immediately did some research and found out that some time ago, the gem store did a release of MSBY jerseys for some of the characters. And Sakusa had one. 
So as soon as I found it, <laughs> I went ahead and ordered it as it was no longer being sold in store. So I found a second hand listing. Of course, it's extra large because apparently for all the apparel, they sell the clothing in the size of the character whose it is. So if Omi is a extra large jersey, then they're going to sell his jersey an extra large. But, oh, it's so nice. It's pretty thin, like a jersey kind of material. But it doesn't feel like flimsy, so I'm gonna take good care of it so that it will last. Oh, I'm so happy that I was able to get a hold of this. Okay, and then I got a bunch of little acrylic standees and acrylic charms, and I'll go through them real quick just for two series. So, First, I'll go through my Bungo Stray Dogs acrylic standees. So when I was in Japan, I bought a bunch of little blind bags of Bungo Stray Dogs acrylic standees because I really wanted the Fukuzawa little standee. And I managed to get him as well as the Fukuchi. But I also really wanted to get a few more just of my favorite characters. So Fukuzawa and Oda are my favorite characters. So of course I had to get Oda's little chibi standee. And then I also got Dazai so that on my shelf I could have them together as a little duo. And then the ones that I got before were Fukuzawa and Fukuchi, so I'm going to have them together as a little duo. And then I also wanted to get <laughs> from this line two standees of Fukuzawa and Mori, so that then these two could be another little duo. And I love this design, how they both have horns and their clothing. Sorry, I was holding it off screen. But it's like perfect for Mori and his personality, but then also Fukuzawa, just like the relationship at the time that they were kind of a duo, so excited to have these ones now and then some charms but I'll go through the standees first I'm not going to take them out until I'm ready to get them on display but I'm so happy that I found these because ever since I found out about the different love of kill collabs with graph art Everything's just been sold out. And so I'm really happy I was able to find one secondhand listing that had all of these. So I officially have some Love of Kill standees now. I'm thrilled about it. So I believe there were four different collabs. And so there are some that I'm missing still that I'm gonna be on the lookout for. So this first one, is Ringhan Chateau on a rainy day. And there's a whole line where it has multiple characters, but I just wanted, honestly, I just wanted Rangha, but because the listing had Chateau standees included, I'm happy I'll be able to display them as a set. And they're so tiny too. They're like only like maybe just over two inches tall. Sorry for the glare. They're so cute though. So one of the collabs was for like a rainy day scenario and there were other characters that were in rain boots with umbrellas. Another one was a Yukata fireworks scene that had all the characters in Yukata, like at a festival. And so we have Ringhan Chateau. And for all of these collabs, they had standees, but then they also had 
little ticket files and different like plastic boards and just different types of merch. So I've been keeping an eye out and I hope I'll be able to find some more of the merch, especially for the other lines that I was not able to get my hands on, but I'm happy I got these ones at least. And then this one of Ringha as a waiter. There is a Chateau version of this one too, but it wasn't included. So I just have him. Part of this collab was also some of the characters in butler uniforms. So there's a butler ring ha out there somewhere. But for now, I just have his waiter one. This is one though that I did get a ticket file for. So I did have this illustration on my ticket file. But now I have a standee and I'll keep an eye out for Chateau's matching one as well as the butler one. If I can ever find it, I'd like to get that one as well. And then the last collab is a casino night themed one where all the characters are dressed as if they work at a casino. So really happy I was able to find these ones though. I was so surprised when I pulled them out of the bubble wrap. I even squealed a little bit because I <laughs> Couldn't believe how tiny and cute they were. I thought they were gonna be bigger, like maybe four inches or something. And so honestly, I'm happy that they're little tiny ones so that I can just sprinkle them on my Love of Kill shelves. And then lastly, some Love of Kill acrylic charms. So there were a couple different lines that just I completely missed, that I just didn't know about this merch until after it had already released. So this first one is just one of Rangha posing with his weapon, being a little cutie, his name. And then the rest of these are paired with Rangha Chateau. And I do actually have one of these already, but I wanted some of the others. So I just got all six of them as a set. So some of the art in the manga will have Ranghan Chateau as little cats in chibi form with little ears. So one of the keychains is of them as cats. And then also one of each of them with their weapons. So when I was originally looking for one of these keychains, I was looking for either this one of Rangha or this one of Rangha. And I found this one and then just thought I would give up because there were not a lot of listings. So then when I saw this one, I was just like, whoa, all six of them and it was really cheap too. So this matching one of them. And I don't know if they have like different versions of them because these ones all have Ringha's background, like kind of a gray, this one's a gray stripe and a gray solid. And then Chateau's like a bright orange stripe and then a bright orange solid. And then same with these two with like the kind of checkered background. But I have this one and the one I have doesn't have a background, it's just clear. So I don't know if they did different versions or what, but it's the same one. But anyways, this is the one that I like the most because Rangha is smiling and he's all happy with his Chateau plush that he's holding. But then I really wanted to get this one of Chateau as well because she is holding this little tiny ring off. <laughs> Plush giving a little peace sign. He's so cute. Ah. <laughs> so I am really happy that I was able to find these. I'm not really sure yet how I'm gonna like, I don't think I have room to just have all six of them on display. So I might actually use them and clip one of them to my purse or something. But I'm really, really happy to have them. Okay, so that's everything for merch, and now I'm gonna get into my books. I'll do this one first, because then the rest of the titles are 18 plus series. 
But so this first one is a comic anthology from the series A3. And this is the first volume, this first comic anthology volume. When I was in Japan, I did get the second volume, but the first volume was out of stock everywhere and I couldn't find it at the secondhand bookstores. So I did find it online and get it ordered secondhand so that I could have both of the volumes in my collection. So I like that on this cover, it has two members from the spring troupe and two members from the summer troupe. And then volume two has two from the autumn troupe and two from the winter troupe. So this is a series about acting and stage plays. And there are four troops, four theater troops that have actors from all different ages and backgrounds that have different motivations and reasons for being passionate about wanting to learn to act. So I really, really love this anime series and definitely wanted to get both of these anthology volumes when I saw them because I knew that there were light novels, but then for like manga content, I hadn't seen anything for A3 before. So I was really happy when I found out about this. And then, like I said, the rest of these titles are 18 plus series. So please check the ratings before you get into any of them. But these first two are both by a mangaka that I really like their art style. When we were in Japan, I did pick up, I believe, five or six of their series. And I just really like their character designs and how they draw their guys. But this first series follows these two guys and these two guys. I'll put the name of it up on the screen, but I believe it's the first half of the book is about these two and then the other half follows these guys. And then this next one is a university set series that follows these two guys and it has a bit of a fantasy element where I'm not sure if they're like beast men, but just there are some students that are just human and then some students that have more animalistic characteristics. And this one here has the title in English, Love Sickness of the Wolf. So <laughs> we have our wolf guy here, but glad to be picking up some more of their series. They do a lot of one shots, so I've just been picking them up. I'm not aware of any of their series being available in English print. There are a few of them that have digital English releases, but none of them have a print release yet. So we'll see if, if any of them do down the road get a print release in English. And then next I got a few things from the series Blue Sky Complex. So first I got a couple of manga volumes. I got volume three and seven. These were both the special edition volumes that had variant covers and also came with booklets. So with these two, I now have all of the special edition volumes. I believe three through eight all had variant cover special editions with booklets. So volume three, And then the booklet. And volume seven. And this one does not have an English print release either. I think it will be really cool if it does get an English print release because even though I'll have duplicate volumes, I'll have the variant covers for the different volumes and then the booklets that have a little bit of bonus content as well as their own little cover illustrations. And then from the same series, I got all the rest of the art books that I was missing as well as this little extra booklet. I wasn't sure about this one when I ordered it. I knew it was for the series but I wasn't sure if it would be art inside or if it would be chapters of the manga, but it really is just kind of like 
a day in the life with just panels of them, the two boys. Because the series starts with these two guys in high school and then it follows them into university. So it even says here, Blue Sky Complex Daily Life Book. So that's pretty cool. And then these art books. So there's no volume one illustration book. So it starts with volume two, but I have two, three, four, five, and six. And then in my recent haul from Black Ship, I did also get volumes seven and eight. So now I have all of the illustration books and they're gorgeous. Each one has color illustrations. I love these character designs and just the art style is so pretty. And I know with every volume release, there have been like a lot of little extra illustrations and like bromide prints that were released with the volumes but I was picking them up secondhand and way after release, so I missed out on those extra illustrations, and so I'm glad that it seems some of them are included in the, in the illustration books. just flip to this page of them in animate uniforms. But I'm planning to do a read through of Blue Sky Complex in December and really looking forward to having all these art books now so I can go through and enjoy those as well. And then lastly, I got a few Dojinshi fan books. So first I got this. Zosan one from the mangaka that did Candy Color Paradox. So it follows these characters from One Piece, but it is a fan book, so it's not canon to the series. And then I also got these three Yuri on Ice doujinshi. So as you can see, they're numbered one to three. And now with these final three, I have the full nine book collection for this little mini series of fan books. I'm really happy I was able to get all of them because I was worried I was going to have like one or two that just would be impossible to get a hold of. But I absolutely love this artist's character designs for Victor and Yuri the way that their emotion is depicted on their faces. All the other covers are really beautiful as well. When I realized that I had only gotten one of the nine books, I didn't realize it was a little mini series. I was hoping that there would be an anthology that I could just get the anthology instead of hunting down the individual books, but I couldn't find if there is an anthology. So I just started going through and looking for the other ones and I'll have to double check, but I believe these were the last ones that I was waiting on. And this is everything. So my doujinshi, art books, manga, all these new little 
acrylic charms and standees, my new cards, and then the goods for my husband. He's gonna be really excited when I'm done here to go through all of his stuff and get everything opened. But I have been eagerly waiting for all of these goods to come in and I'm really happy. Everything looked to be in good condition. So I hope you enjoyed watching as I went through everything. And unfortunately there was one item that didn't reach the warehouse in time for making it into this consolidation. So I did ship this package and then a few days later that last item arrived to the warehouse, which is fine because then I immediately had other things that I wanted to add to the order as well that were new releases. So I do have another Japan order underway that in about a month and a half, I'll be consolidating that one as well. But again, I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you again soon in another video. Thanks for watching. Thank you.